And we can go ahead and do this terrible start. This is a really bad start. The gold key with split path sucks. Good evening, flow key. Ooh. Also, thankfully, my internet dropped during the starting soon, so hopefully I don't drop again during the actual lab notes. I should have nothing to worry about, but you never know. Hey, there's Dirt Shrine. There's Dirt Shrine over there. Okay, let's go this way. We'll see what's in the bottom path. How's my day been? Uh, very fairly lazy. Um, although any the homework I needed to do was already done, so I just had to print it, and I basically been uh, dealing with frustrations in Monster Hunter, and that's about it. I've also it, it's it, it's is it weird that I've also been stressing out about the fact that <laughs> it's like I I don't have any extra assignments to do yet, and yeah, I'm stressing out about the fact that I'm waking up early tomorrow. It's like, <laughs> why? Why I know I'm supposed to wake up early tomorrow anyway. Why am I like worried about this? I guess it's, I'm just like, I uh, I guess I wouldn't necessarily be stressing out about it. It's more of, I am not looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to the fact that my weekends are only like a day essentially, and that's Saturday, Sunday. Sun I, Sundays are not a week part of the weekend for me anymore. I'm going to school Friday. Saturday, I take the day off. Sunday, I need to do any school stuff from over the weekend. Then Monday, it's back into school. So, <laughs> only one day off. I think tomorrow, though, I do have like a short-ish day. No, yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow is an easy day, I think. I forgot to pop any of my flasks because I took my hand off the key my keyboard. What am I studying? I'm majoring in mathematics. Yeah, yeah now that I think about it, at least the upside of tomorrow is I'm not up at campus for the entire day. Wednesday is not going to be fun, because that's an entire day up at the campus. Oh, hello Argus. Puzzle. Yeah. Okay. Argus is in the switch puzzle in that room. By the way, I has changed a lot a bit recently. Some doors were not where I expected them. Is this true? Um, 
I uh, all the lab layouts have been pretty much the same, honestly. I have not noticed any difference between the lab layouts outside the normal variations. Like I haven't encountered any new layouts with different exits or anything like that. this over here the dark shrine you say the fact that I call it mathematics versus math did I check out the delve challenge roids yes I did and and yes I will be playing delve just not as intensely as I played bestiary and incursion but I did see the Delve Challenge Rewards. The portal looks alright, the bird's too small, and the wings- <laughs> Oh, the wings! Oh god, I want the wings! That's pretty much my impressions of the Challenge Rewards. At least they made the wings 24 challenges. <laughs> of the portal especially when there is around the map device I guess my, my issue when it came to the portal was it didn't it does it's it's weird that it doesn't have like any energy to it like it doesn't it just it literally is like a hole in the ground like at least the abyss portal which was a hole in the ground still had like a swirling energy effect to it but delve is just like it, it's a hole <laughs> surrounded by wood and part of that is like I mean that's a nice hold on hold on a second Okay, we're in the clear. Um, my train thought was completely lost because I didn't want to die there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, it's just like it's it's a hole in the ground surrounded by wood, and there's no real like energy to it, I guess. So it just seems strange to me. What do you think of the librarian getting banned for cheating? Um, it took a while. That's that's my that's one of, that's like my first thoughts. Like, if he had been if he was banned for cheating at at the lab ladder, he was doing that for a hell of a long time. So that's concerning. The other thing is I I'm not deep into the ladder climbing of uh the lab, so I don't really know if him getting banned actually caused more competition to happen. Or if suddenly someone else just shot up to the top. Like I'm, I haven't been, I don't don't pay attention to it, so I don't really know if the times are suddenly closer to each other, or if suddenly someone else popped up and is a dominant time. Because if someone else popped up with a dominant time, that's a very strange or interesting situation occurring, because that means. Multiple people have this super secret build that is some reason consistently 30 seconds faster than everyone or Multiple people have this consistent trick to get 30 seconds faster than everyone and They're all colluding and colluding together keeping it secret and just rotating it in and out uh, As they please this control the market That's just a th that's that's just a theory what's happening. I wouldn't necessarily say that is what is happening, but that's an observation that I can, that like, a situation that I'm conceiving of in my head. Like, hmm. <laughs> the top guy on the leaderboard suddenly stopped. Well, is no longer the top guy on the leaderboard. And then suddenly someone else sprung up with a very similar time. It's like, okay. So you guys have, there's a small group of people with a super secret build that they're not sharing. Or a super secret trick that they're not sharing. And they're just letting each other control the market. So I was like, hmm. I mean, that's valid. That's a viable strategy.
But it's kind of it. But I will also agree with the fact that if that is happening, that's kind of killing the entire spirit of it. I knew that would be the portal effect once you saw the trailer of the guy coming out of it. Yeah, when we what's the guy's name? I forgot that guy's name. Nico? <laughs> or something like that. When the NPC first showed up it in the trailer, he just like, oh, there's a thing out of the ground. He just zooped, got up out of it. Like, oh, that's a, that's an interesting effect. Still salty that a Harbinger portal effect is not a thing. I'm just gonna put that. I'm just gonna keep throwing that out there. I'm still super salty that a Harbinger portal. Or the Harbinger portal effect is not a thing. If there's anything from Harbinger League, and any like visual MTX thing I love from Harbinger League, it was that freaking portal. That portal at the end of the Beachhead. Like, that is cool. I want that. I want to be able to walk in and out of that, but no. We don't get that. We got a very terrible looking crown. We got a... Hold on. Okay, no, sorry. I had to figure out what layout this was. We got a very terrible looking crown. We got a really terrible ring character effect we got. I can't remember what the, the last Harbinger effect was. Or the last reward was. Like the uh, the the burning character effect from the sport pack from the pack was nice. The weapon effect look well, the weapon effect well the weapon effect looks amazing. I'm trying to remember what the last thing the last harbinger effect was from that league. Blue gl glowing eyes. Okay, those are kind of decent. Those are decent. Using them with celestial hood is amazing. But outside of that, it's like you have armor covering your face most of the time, so it's kind of meh. Will I be trying an artifact with artifact? Is that an upcoming game? Is that something else? And that would be the last dark train over there. Oh wait, hold on. Okay. New Valve game, TCG, CCG from Valve based on Dota? Mm. No, I'm not a card game guy. Mark duration. Nope. And that's it. So let me go and get these Lebanos made. <laughs>